Okay, you guys, today I'm excited. I'm gonna give Nomad Cosmetics another shot. My previous video on them, it didn't really show up, I guess. <gasps> the monkey in the background that I have, hold on. Can y'all see him? No, my chair's in the way. Okay, well, there he is, there he is. Damn, he scared me. I looked up in the mirror and, oh, okay. Oh, okay. He reminded me, though. My name's Mark. Press like, subscribe, uh, you know, just join me for tutorials, reviews, testing out nice little products, you know, get away from society. But, yeah, um, I think it was the um, Antilles palette, which is now discontinued. It was a really pretty palette, very nice. And I did come up with a nice look from it, but it wore off on me. For some reason, it did not stick. It just didn't want to... The pigmentation just wasn't there. But I've heard nothing but good things. So I'm guessing maybe I just got a bad palette. I don't know. Um, it just it, it didn't work for me. But now they came up with bland... I don't know why I can't read this right now. Iceland, land, elves, and I don't know. Hold on, let me look it up. Let me look it up. I am. It's really nice cursive, so that it's not them. It's me. It, it is literally just me. So I'm gonna look it up. But like I was saying previously on the other one, the pigmentation didn't work out on me specifically, and it just it it wasn't the best of all. So, yeah, this is the Nomad Fire and Ice. So, it's like Iceland kind of stuff and all that. Um, I don't... Yeah, Iceland is what it's supposed to be. Land of Fire and Ice. I can't read what it says, but that might be for any number of reasons. I apologize. But, I really wanted it. It looked really nice. I even bought another one, the previous one from this collection. Not this collection, but you know, from this brand. And this is what it looks like. It's very pretty. It's very... I always like the way they look themselves. The palettes are beautiful. I cannot deny that. So, we are going to give this one a shot. And I should have my... I have my Urban Decay Eye Primer here. And I also have my Anastasia one. Right now, I've used the e.l.f. putty eye primer, which is my go-to. Sorry, my heater is like burning me up. So, I'm going to try to give this my best shot and give it a really nice... I want a rustic kind of look with this, because look at it. It's really nice. So, I am going to go in right away with Niflum. Niflum, this one. This nice, dark, rich blue. We're going to go in like this. I am going to try to go in with some of the lighter shades because that's the one I was ha those are the ones I was having issues with in the Antilles palette. It just, it, I couldn't build them up. Even though they were so pretty. So we're going to get this going like this. So far the pigmentation's amazing. It is easily blending out. Wonderful. Amazing. Okay, so I am wearing the wrong type of onesie for this. I'm going to try to take off some of that blue with the brush cleaner thing. And I do want to go in with... We're going to go straight in. We're going to go in with this one. Frigg. F R I double G and I'm gonna pack that color on. Yes, this is this one's already like sticking better than the previous Entos palette. If you got that one and you saw that one, you know how pretty it was, so I was heartbroken that it didn't work with me. But you know, it, it happens. I don't know what it was. Maybe my skill level was not up to par with that palette at the moment. The look I created was still pretty back then, but this one, this blue is, you see that? It it just shows so nicely on this one. I am enjoying this palette already a hundred times more than the previous one that I had tried. But I did rehome the Antilles palette to someone who could give it love. 
and who it would work better with. So, either way, it's not the point of this one. This one's already looking amazing. And I am going to go in with River Glacier. It's on like a silvery one. There is a bit of kickback and fallout with that one, so make sure to pet off your brush. Or if you don't, make sure you're packing it on and then you blend it. Lovely color, all oh, very icy, cool. You see that? Oh, so pretty. Going back in with Frig. Adding it a little bit right here to make that transition nicer. So I am loving this so much already. It is... Mm. And then I am going to go in with some of this Urban Decay. To add, um, I want to, I don't know, maybe not, maybe not. We'll try it without it, okay? We will try it without it. Clean off that brush. And I'm going to go in again with Frig. It's going to be my base color, okay? Get it on the brush. You see how much comes off? So pack it on the overall lid. Get it all the way. This is just a base, okay? This is going to be the base color to the shimmers I'm about to try to put on here. Don't judge my nails. I'm a, I have a nail appointment tomorrow. I do have a nail appointment tomorrow. Okay, so we have that. You know how it blends in right there? Okay. And I do want to go in with this beautiful Gallows Lava. Like, oh my goodness. It is so pretty. So we're going to try with the brush first. Get some on the brush. I'm going to pack it on on the outer bit because it is the darker area. So get that. I'm trying to pack it on. That's what it looks like with just the brush. And if I try my finger, there is a bit more payoff with the finger. See that? So it's like a dark hunter green with like some like blue and gold specks in there. So it's very pretty. And then I want to continue with elves. Elves, this one. So again, picking up the, not that one, the flat one. Going in with this one. And then we're going to, ooh. That one without an issue went on beautifully. Loving it. Loving it. And then I do want to add a random like pop. So I'm going to go in with Northern Lights. Which is this one. This nice green right there. It's got beautiful designs in the actual little pans. So that I am enjoying as well. The artistic side to all of these. Sorry you can hear the baby in the background. They're having their little versus game on the xbox at the moment and baby wanted to be in there but you see this i am enjoying that and then the bottom lid right here we're gonna go with dark castles this one oh go in with the light hand running that here as so and then i do want to go with Mosfilham? Mosfilham? Somebody help me with these pronunciations. Somebody, please. Oh, look at this. That is a nice deep orange. It's like a burnt orange. Oh, I love that. That is wonderful. Okay, and with that, I do want to go with Hecla. This one, right there. It's like a pumpkin orange on this one. So we were doing this as such. Oh, you can't see that. It's like so nice. Yes. Alrighty then. And then, as in the inner corner, we're going in with Alfheim. 
all time. This one, it's like, I don't know how to describe this shimmery kind of. You see that? It's like a darkish purple with gold kind of. And I can't describe that. So trying to pick it up with the brush is, oh, it worked. I couldn't really tell that it got picked up, but it's right there. Beautiful. Love it. Loving it. And I do want to take some more of that River Glacier. It's going to go under the brow bone right here. Just to add a bit of reflectiveness. And then I do want to go in with God's Waterfall. That one looks nice too. And I'm going to use that right here under the beginning of the brow. To add some depth. Do you guys hear my kids in the background? They're not even saying anything, but they're arguing, apparently. Then I'm going to go in a little bit with Nephilim, Nephilim. To add that depth right in here. So we have this going on. Okay, so... Let me do my liner and my lashes, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back, and this is the final look I did. Let me get you guys like this, just a quick little view. Uh, I'm wearing Maybelline's lipstick right now. The super I went out and um, added some more colors to my collection from them. This one is Fighter, and in the center I used not that one more. I used Lover. And I'm liking how it looks. I, I really am enjoying the look like that with the lips. But, um, like I said, with this one, um, the Fire and Ice, Destination Iceland, Coordinates, Cream Girl, I cannot say it and I apologize for that. But this palette is so nice. Pigmentation is there. The blendability is wonderful. Easily flawless. Everything was great with it. Beautiful mirror. Really good size. The shades are versatile. You can do many looks with this. Um, the red one, for me, would be a beautiful bronze tone. This purple right here, it looks so nice. Like, those are two of the ones I'm dying to use out of this palette for another look. I'm going to do it right here on my palm. So those are like that, nice little shades. They're going to be toppers. But you'll also see me here soon um, try to review this one. This one's the Magical Release. Um... Uh, Cortagena Magica? This one? I don't know. It's beautiful. It's like a summery tones in that one, though. A summery. It's very nice. But, um, like I said, let me bring you guys closer. You might see the baby in the background. He's in his crib. He had to come in with mom. But, here is this. It's a nice, simple look. Um, you could keep it neutral with the tones that I use on the bottom, or you can go all out with the other tones. You could use two shades and come up with the whole look on your own and I am loving it I am doing this late at night because I haven't done a video in a little bit but I definitely do recommend this palette it is beautiful Nomad Cosmetics is an indie brand um, they came with a little postcard I love it even the first time when I tried it because um, I had the little four pack that I got from them and it comes with a little note Thank you so much for another order. Oh, they remember from the first one. I mean, I know the emails they keep track of and everything. Um, but it's wonderful. I love how individualized it is. And they were really nice about the first time when I reviewed the other palette. I didn't, you know, you, sometimes you, they don't really keep up with that in some brands. But they did. And they were so receptive of my feedback. And they did give me the hint of, like, you know, use attack your base. And it just, it, I did try it and it didn't work for me. It might have just been that, like I said, it might have been that one pot that was a dud. I tried this one and, it, and I used the same eye primer I did last time for the other palette and it worked. Look, beautiful, wonderful. It did great. It, I, there's, it might have just been one of those, you know, draw the straws, draw the, it's just, it, it just didn't work for me the first time. But this one's, I love this one. I love blues. I love rich blues color pigmentation it's just something that I it will win me over instantly with blues purples reds all that so when I saw this one I was excited to give them you know the other chance another shot they have some cute palettes I will put their link down below I am so happy that this palette worked out for me I had been wanting the other one too 
that monk in the background keeps getting me. <laughs> so uh, that's where I'll leave you guys. So just, you know, give them a, check them out. Give them a like. Go look at them. They're, they're really good palettes. They're really cute palettes. And I hope that you have the same experience I do and it works for you. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.